It seems to me that attention changes the world and creates the world. And the kind of attention you pay governs what it is you find there. Equally, what it is you think you find there governs the attention you will then pay. So where you first leap into this hermeneutic circle imaged in Escher's hands will dictate where you go next, and soon things will begin to harden up. And once you've hardened up into a certain view of the world, it's difficult to see things that don't fit with it. Famously, we're blind to things that we don't expect to see. Uh, how many people have seen a film called Gorillas in Our Midst? Yes, a lot of you. So you know what I'm talking about here, and I won't spoil it for those of you who haven't. If you Google it, I'm sure you can find it. But it is a very, very dramatic uh, demonstration of the fact that amazing things can be right there in the middle of our field of vision, completely unexpected, and because they're so unexpected, we're focusing on something else altogether. We miss it completely. So, attention in that way changes the world, and the context, in other words, in which you see it, changes it. When we attend to something in its context, we see something different from what we see when we put it in another context. And all too often when we analyse something, we take something apart and take it out of the context and expect to understand it outside the context and then to understand the whole when we put it back into that context. But by the very process of taking it out, we've changed it. It's a bit like trying to rip the heart out of the body and sever it from the arteries and veins and watch this object pulsing on a desk and say, oh, I think I can understand what this thing is doing. It's part of a bagpipe. And, you know, you've got to see it in the, the whole context um, that it exists. These two circles, the orange circles, are, of course, the same because they're in different contexts. They look differently. And uh, you'll have to take my word for this, but the squares A and B are the same colour, actually. It's just that because of the context, they look different. 